back to seven days to die. All right. Well, here we are in the morning of day four, and uh, I finished up the looting for most of the town, except for this area over here where I saw somewhere around here a pop and pills, I think it was, and uh, so on. I got most of the stuff done. I'd been dropping everything off in the loot chest, the drop chest over here, and then about 4 or 4.30 p.m., I uh, went over here and started grabbing everything, made about three or four trips to carry everything in there back to here, and then take a few minutes to get things, well, a couple of hours actually, to get things all sorted out. I got food and medical here, this is sort of miscellaneous stuff and junk, and here's uh, weapons and ammunition, and speaking of which... Uh, I can do something now here. Let's see. Assemble the shotgun. And that's a quality 170 shotgun, so that's good. And I even have a little bit of ammunition in here. And if I could make shotgun shells, I'd be able to make 16 more. But as yet... Uh, let's see, here it is. Shotgun shell crafting... Gunsmithing will have to be at level 25 first. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Uh, some repair kits. I don't have any forged iron, so I can't make any more. Let's see. Repair. Alright, at least it's fully repaired then. That's good. And put that away, and... Oh, I came up with one of these, uh, actually two copies of this, Taylor's Treasure Map, and I'm just going to throw it in here in miscellaneous junk for right now. I don't want to deal with it uh, right this minute. I think what I'm going to do, let's see... Oh, yeah, I spent a bunch of time making glue overnight and cooking up some bacon and eggs. Put the glue away... Eat a couple of bacon and eggs, and grab a little bit more water here. And I'll put those away. And I'm thinking what I need to do is I need to head back over here to the other side of where I spawned at originally, into this uh, pine area, because I need wood. And I mean a lot of it. Because uh, right now I haven't got enough to do a whole lot in the way of uh, putting together defenses. And uh, I'm figuring I'm going to be spending my day seven here, regardless of what I do in the long run. Let's see. Let's go ahead and mark that. Head for it. All right, so I am off to the uh, forest area to get some wood. Now, this is too tempting a target to pass up. Especially if he's going to stand there in a rock like that. Okay, I'm going to have to use the axe to take care of him until I can get a bone and make a bone shiv, but I need to hide anyway. I'm carrying this meat. I'm going to have to be extra watchful. All right. Get me a bone shiv. All right. And... Make another stone axe. I know I'm going to need it. I am going to cut down as much of this wood as I can carry and also get to harvesting a bunch of this stone, too, because I need it all. So, I'm going to be busy for a while. All right, I have cut a good bunch of wood. I've got like 4,000 wood here. 
and I harvested myself about 700 stone, well, up to 700. I had a little bit to start with, and I got a couple hundred iron from the fragments and so on. And what I think I want to do now is take a little bit of time, not too awfully much. I want to walk around through this area here, maybe out through the, some of this plains area, and see if I can maybe come up with a little bit more game because I'm looking to come up with some hides, animal hides, and I'd rather not try to chase down rabbits and chickens in the desert. So I'm going to look around up here, see what I can find, see if I can come up with at least enough hides for one forge. Although it's not looking super promising right this moment. Oh, hello, Nursey. Oh, by the way, nurses have this wonderful feature that they sometimes carry antibiotics. And uh, so, you may note, I no longer have the infection. We got here. Oh, that's just a cactus. All right, let's see. Where am I at? I'm over here. I'm going to maneuver over here this way towards the road and see if I can find any game of the skinnable variety. Well, skinnable and edible, you know. And, uh,. then start maneuvering my way back towards town. Alright, so much for that then. Not going to make a big deal out of that. I see a critter. Alright. Heck with the uh, waypoint. Let's go for where that critter is. I hope I can still see him when I get close. And more importantly, hope that I can deliver a fatal blow. Hello. Well, I saw him, and then as I got closer, he disappeared. But that sound makes it, that squeal makes me think maybe he ran into a cactus. Thing that looks like an animal walking around. I know I saw a pig and I heard one squeal, but I guess it's time to head out of here. All right, I'm going to head back towards the house. I got to dump all this stuff off, and along.
along the way I'm gonna break up some cacti and beef up my stock of uh, plant fiber and yucca fruit and unless something spectacular happens I'll catch up with you when I get home alrighty got back home here everything put away and well for the most part I got plenty of wood out of this I've got like 700 stone to work with and that's going to be handy because part of what I'm going to be doing overnight is crafting a whole mess of stone axes because hey I want to improve the skill and quality of my tool making so that when I can make things like iron pickaxes or steel pickaxes they'll come out with a better quality and all this stuff put away came up with 34 10 millimeter rounds while I was out there one of the zombies that was in the way and they had a few another one had a few more nine mil rounds so that's good and right now I've got wood and my uh, wrench I am headed downstairs here Let's see got to put that away things that I've forgotten to upgrade. Alright. Actually what I need to do is to go upstairs and go down to the outside. Alright. First order of business is to get this car out of here. I wouldn't mind getting some good stuff out of it, but with the quality of this wrench, I'd be surprised if I get much of anything but scrap. I did see some oil, and there's plenty of gas. Don't need it now, but eventually I will. At least, I plan to. Ah, another headlight. Alright, good. That's out of the way. Now, start taking some of this down. Because we don't want it here. It's just going to be in the way, so... Break up the porch, the railings, the stairs. All of this stuff. And I'm going to surround the building with at least one layer of log spikes. And then... Uh, three or four layers of uh, wood spikes. I suppose... Now I'd have to destroy that and rebuild it to upgrade it. That's too bad. Well, of course, for day seven, this shouldn't be too big of a deal at all. A row of log spikes and a few rows of uh, regular spikes should be plenty to uh, keep the hostiles out on day seven. And uh, this way, I have enough of this stuff done. I won't really have any need to go anywhere on day five, because day five is going to be dog day, and I no desire to take care, to have anything to do with dogs. The dogs are absolutely OP as all get out and I've also found out that unlike in Alpha 12, here in Alpha 14, the dogs are faster than you are. So outrunning them is not much of an option anymore. You take care of them or they take care of you. That's what I've seen in videos. So, yeah. All right, come on. Oh, I wouldn't give for a good fire axe. And I mean literally, a really good fire axe. Four, uh, three or four hundred quality at least. But, oh, come on. Quit your huffing and puffing. Take a drink of something and get busy. There we go. Get these broke out, get some spikes in. 
and uh, I can use my patented frame over the spike strip, which is not actually all that original, to get in and out. And uh, even though it is still early, I am going to want to put a, uh, a border around the top of the building with wood frames to prevent spider zombies from climbing. You know, they may not be the scouts anymore, but they still climb and attack. And they still have that god-awful screech. Of course. Yeah. Cleared. I don't want this uh, grass and whatnot getting in the way as I go placing stuff down, so I'm just... Oh. Okay, here's some free iron. Well, not exactly free. I'm paying for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're out of breath. Here, drink a thing. And... Eat a few things, get some stamina rolling. Which reminds me, there's actually something I can do about that. Let's go over here. Skills. Uh, I got that one for running stamina. I've got some points to spend anyway. Let's see. Hey, how about this one? Regain stamina faster. Okay, bang. Okay, uh, let's see. There's this. Okay, over here, construction to the concrete mixing. Oh yeah. Uh, let's look at some of these others. Miner 69er. Yes. And uh, concrete mixing. I'll pick that up as soon as I can. So, uh, I don't want to be doing stuff with concrete. But right now, it's a good thing to just be able to uh, have a little more stamina, have it last longer, and regenerate faster. Okay, take this down. I think I am doing a little bit more damage. Okay, get this down, get the rest of this cleared out, and get some spikes down. Better to do it now than to wait till the last minute. Besides, once this is done, I can spend the night with my next plan. You see, overnight, a big part of what I want to do overnight is I want to dig down, go down to the bottom floor of the building, start digging downward at a, about a 45 degree angle and head it this way, out this way to the east because somewhere along in here, underground, deep underground, I want to have a forge room underground so that with forges and campfires running, the heat map will heat up over there and the witches, if they show up at all, will show up over there. And uh, assuming I have anything that can do it at the time, shoot them from a distance. Or at the very least, they're over there checking out things, looking for something that's actually like 40 or 50 blocks underground, and they'll be more likely to leave my base alone. Because they won't be attracted to it. They'll be attracted to the nonsense going on underground. Let's get rid of this. And then get some spikes made. And it occurs to me it would be helpful if I knew... Oh, God, those trees are loud. It would be helpful if I knew how big the place was, what its footprint is. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, by one, two, oh, come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, so nine by seventeen. All right. Which log spike? How many can I craft if I went all the way? 95. No, 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 no. Uh. Oh, man. So hard to. Okay. Actually, I don't want a hundred and some. I want, say, 40 of them to start with. Okay, that'll take six minutes. I should have started them going earlier, but oh well. All right. So that's pretty much the plan. Surround the place with uh, log spikes, one row, and then... Uh, And say three, maybe four rows of uh, regular spikes. It'd be nice if I could hit what I'm aiming at instead of picking up more of this freaking sand that I don't want. At least I don't want it right now. Okay, should I try to take this down? I might as well. some of these ready? Where are they? Oh yeah, that's going to take a while. <laughs> and then I got more crafting to go after that. All right. Well, I'm waiting for that. Let's see if I can get the uh, frame border around the top of the building done. up that corner some. Fortunately, I've got plenty of frames for that. Back up. Oh, going right to the edge like that makes me nervous as I'll get out. something of a problem with heights, you see. I picked a hell of a thing to do for 
somebody that's got a problem with heights, haven't I? some more. I should just nicely have enough frames to finish this. Oh, here, another trip across the edge. Where does it sound like a chicken? Oh, there's one across the street. Or crossing the street. Shall we go and ask him why he's crossing the road? <laughs> uh, I know, that was awful. Okay, and this front already has something of a hanging over lip, so I'm not going to bother with it right now. All right, now... For my way down. Ta da! in. There's a row of wood log spikes, upgraded ones. I didn't figure I could spare the scrap iron to upgrade them a second time. At least not yet. I will, but not just this moment. And there's three rows of stick spikes out here. That should do a pretty reasonable job of discouraging uh, day seven visitors, and I may be able to upgrade things a little bit more between now and then. Now to head upstairs, bring the ladder here, bring the steps up with me. Making sure not to pick up the one that I'm standing on. I should have maybe left that one. <laughs> oh well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and plug the hole for right now. Upstairs. I actually went downstairs here for a minute. Ground floor. Alright, what I'm probably going to do... Now, eventually I have to take all these shelves out and get them for scrap. But for the meantime, I think what I'm going to do is uh, probably start right about here. 
and uh, making the best way I can with the crappy stone tools I can use right at the moment is to dig that tunnel I was talking about. Basically, dig this way to the east and down. I'll be digging down at about a 45 degree angle and just dig myself a ramp going like I said 45 or 50 blocks down and let's see if I look at the map let's see does it okay that's right the mod shows it up here in the upper left cane corner that uh, one icon looks like somebody climbing a mountain it says plus 50 meters that's my current altitude I figure if I go down to zero that should be pretty good. That'll be 50 meters below where I'm standing right now on the ground. And uh, down there, I can start carving out a uh, place for a forge, uh, or actually for several forges, and uh, so on. And by the time I get down there, I should probably run into some veins of coal, at least. Coal and oil shale is what's available in the desert, and if I travel far, if I mine far enough and get into another biome over here, then uh, there will be coal, potassium nitrate, lead, and so on down there. So, that's what my plan is for the overnight. Well, that, making a whole lot of stone axes so that I can increase the quality of my tool making. And probably make another couple of hundred arrows, too. Well, that's why I got all this stone and fiber, although if I start mining, stone will not be in short supply. In any event, I get the distinct feeling that this has gone long as it is anyway. So, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.